This man won the jackpot of 25 million euros on his first lottery purchase. But he was extremely distressed and afraid that his wife would take the money away from him. Today we'll see how he pretended to be poor without his wife's knowledge in order to keep the money for himself. Sandy just woke up and was given a ticket by the traffic police. It seems that today is another unlucky day for him because Sandy doesn't have a regular job. He can only do odd jobs, like helping to clean the toilet on the yacht. Sandy works his ass off and gets ridiculed by rich people. Sandy got splashed by a car on the way to the gas station. Luckily, his friend, Hawaii, was so kind. Hawaii not only helped Sandy to fill up the gas tank for free, he also gave Sandy a new set of clothes. His wife, Maita, couldn't stand seeing him in such a bad shape anymore. Maita wanted to get a divorce, but the two of them had to go through a three-month cooling-off period first. Sandy's life is not good and there are problems in the marriage. Everything is unhappy. Sandy looked at his wife's back and felt very sad, so he bought his first lottery ticket on the roadside and tried to change his luck. What if a miracle happens? In the evening, Sandy was depressed and went to a classmate's party to try to make some sense of his existence. But he found out that the fat boy he used to laugh at had lost weight and become a handsome man. Marcos not only opened a big supermarket, but also flirted with Sandy's wife. Sandy couldn't stay any longer when he saw their flirtatious eye contact. He ran home in frustration and became more and more angry after thinking about it. In a fit of rage, Sandy threw the lottery ticket into the garbage. The next day his wife, who had been out all night, came back to get the stuff and cleaned up the trash. After his wife left, Sandy heard on TV that he had 125 million euros. Luckily, he found it in time and painstakingly dug through the trash to find the winning ticket. Sandy couldn't contain his joy when he knew he was about to become a rich man. He ran through the vast fields and danced with the straw. Sandy happily ran over to his wife to share the good news with her. He thought he would not have to get a divorce because he was rich. But then he saw Maita and Marcos hiding in the Mercedes, talking sweetly and doing intimate acts. Sandy then realized everything and left without bothering them. Sandy was sad and went to exchange his winnings alone, but he was being watched by a man. Sandy was driving home. Amin suddenly jumped out of the back seat of the car and startled him. Amin claimed to be a bank manager. He could help Sandy make more money with his money. Sandy was intrigued by this. When he tried to ask more questions, he was stopped by the traffic cop who was doing his job. She wanted to give him a ticket. The traffic cop changed her attitude instantly when she found out that Sandy was now a multi-millionaire. She just let Sandy go in silence. Sandy took Ann into a top restaurant to talk about it. They ordered a table full of lobster and wine. He could eat whatever he wanted now that he was rich. Emin kindly reminded him, Now you and your wife Maita are in the middle of a divorce. So you must not reveal that you have won the lottery. Otherwise, you lose a lot of money because your wife will divide your fortune equally. Sandy felt extremely torn. He was still in love with Maita and was not willing to lie to her. While Sandy was hesitating, they met Maita and Marcos at the door. Sandy tries to persuade Maita to be with him again but only gets a merciless scolding from her. She says he's only a disgrace. Sandy was furious, so Sandy decides to hide the news of her winnings so that Micah won't get any money. Sandy took revenge by vandalizing Marco's car before leaving and destroyed the windshield wipers and tires. However, Sandy smashed the car for a long time before he realized that he had smashed the wrong car. But now he can't afford to pay for the repair so that his wife wouldn't find out. Sandy went to work as a waiter at Marco's supermarket. He began to live a simple, low-key life. At the same time, Tanya made a point of cheering him on. She said that Sandy could become a cashier if he worked here for two years. He will be paid 800 euros a month. This is a super happy job. Sandy smiled helplessly. Whenever he had free time, he would come to the mall and go on a shopping spree. He would buy all the custom-made suits and limited edition watches. Sandy would also buy luxury hand brand sneakers. He had a great life. Sandy's only problem was trying to pretend to be poor in front of his wife. All of Sandy's valuables are stuffed into storage. High-grade Lafay wine are put into ordinary red wine bottles. After three months, Sandy will be completely free as a rich man with hundreds of millions of dollars. He is satisfied with the material aspect. Then he had to eat more luxuriously. Whenever his wife was not at home, Sandy would go to the five-star hotels to enjoy the food. But Sandy shivered at the sight of beautiful women. As a result, she mistook a compressed towel for a dessert and swallowed it. It was a very embarrassing scene. On this day, Sandy met two of his friends to surf on the beach. He was in a good mood, but then he suddenly met Marcos. 
Marcos mocked Santi's poor surfing skills. He said Santi couldn't surf at all. Santi was not happy about it. He hired one of the world's top surfing instructors to teach him. After a few rounds of practice, Santi was able to ride freely in the ocean. Marcos was confused by this. Santi went to the marina and bought the most expensive yacht. He made the rich people who looked down on him become a shit picker. This rich man's feeling is very good, even though he was already a multimillionaire, but he still had to find time to go to work. The alarm clock went off in the morning. Santi left the comfort of his five-star hotel. He got into his Mercedes car and went to the supermarket. Santi is transformed into a poor man again, from time to time. He is taunted by his wife. It was a painful and happy time for him. Santi felt very lonely and isolated after acting for a long time. Although he was now rich, he was not happy at all. His wife had left him. His two best friends were also distancing themselves from him. The beautiful woman he managed to pick up in the restaurant was an escort girl. She doesn't want his handsome looks. She wants his money. Sandy wants to change all this, so he spends a lot of money and invites Hawaii to be the spokesperson of his brand. He grew in value overnight. He also had Ammon forge a million dollar will and secretly gave it to Mario. He thought Mario would be happy and well off from then on. But what Sandy didn't expect was that Mario had the vanity to use the money to buy a sports car. He was so proud that he took them for a drive. Santi was very distressed when he saw him spending money frivolously. In a fit of anger, he confessed the truth to them. His friends were stunned to hear it. They couldn't believe that Santi had kept it a secret for so long. Mario mistook the gas pedal for the brake and stepped on it in a trance. They fell off the cliff and into the sea. Luckily, Santi was a good swimmer and didn't drown. When his friends found out he was too rich, they went to the bar and danced all night. Santi watched the others dancing and dancing. He sat already alone on the sofa and felt very lonely. Sandy couldn't help but miss his wife. In fact, Maita still has feelings for him. Although she always complained about Sandy, but she only wanted to cheer Sandy up to face life. They had been together for nine years. What woman would want to see her husband fail to achieve anything? It wasn't long before Sandy got the shocking news. Marcos had a lot of foreign debts, and his loan was not approved. So he had no choice but to close the supermarket. All the employees lost their jobs. Santi felt that his chance had come, so he designed an elaborate romantic candlelight dinner. His wife was so touched by this. Together, they remembered the happy times and left tears of remorse. I thought they were going to make up. Then Santi confessed to his wife that he had won the lottery. Maita was furious and felt that he had deliberately cheated on her. So she ran away without looking back. Despite Santi's pleas, Santi's friends also had various problems. Mario spent money frivolously. His wife had a big fight with him. Mario's married life is in tatters. Sandy's photo shoots were ridiculed by everyone. He is now being pointed at everywhere he goes. Although they are now rich and have no worries about food and water. But they no longer have the same simplicity as before. Sandy made a big decision after everything. He wanted to travel the world and forget this sad place once and for all. Sandy first transferred 100 million euros to his wife. Then he asked the courier to send her the divorce papers. Now Maita really regretted it. She didn't expect that Sandy would be willing to give her half of his assets. Where else could she find such a good man? Meanwhile, Maita received a call from the supermarket asking her to rush over there. She found that all the employees had returned to their jobs. It turns out that Sandy has bought the supermarket with her own money. From now on Maita is the new owner of the supermarket. Amin tells her that Sandy will be leaving the country soon. He would never come back. Maita panics and rushes out without a second thought. She finally found Santi at the airport with the help of the traffic police. She went up to Santi and slapped him. She said it was impossible for Santi to spend 100 million to leave her. I want to punish you for staying with me forever. Santi happily hugged his wife and twirled her around. The couple made up and started a new life together. Friends are back to normal. Marcos, who had nothing left, became a 300 pound fat man. But I think he did not lose anything. After all, the wife of a rich family is good uh, although their relationship did not last. But at least he had it once. This is a comedy movie with a lot of laughs. The husband wins the lottery and starts living the life of a rich man. It's a 25 euros million jackpot, but he has to get back his wife who cheated on him. If it were you, would you do that? That's why we should cherish the people in front of us. Do not wait for the loss of regret to late.